New question from chapter electrostatic for three mark and it is derive an expression for electric intensity at a point outside a charged spherical conductor. Now let's see the answer of this question. Now we consider one spherical charge conductor whose uh, name is A and radius is R. So you can see consider charge sphere A whose radius is R. Now let me show this charge sphere in a diagram. So you can see this is a charge sphere. So inside one is a charge sphere A whose radius is capital R. And we have to find out electric intensity at point P which is at a distance R from the center of this charge sphere. Now here we define some parameter. Q is charge on A, capital R radius of sphere A. Sigma I can define as a surface charge density or charge per unit area. So charge is Q, area is uh, 4 pi R square. It's a surface area basically. Now we have to find out electric intensity at point P which is at a distance R. So pay attention to find out this electric intensity at point P which is at a distance R we have to draw a Gaussian sphere of radius R small r. So Gaussian sphere means a sphere on every part of that sphere electric intensity is same because it is equidistant from this uh, charge sphere A. So electric intensity is same. Now we can find out, we can draw a Gaussian sphere. And this is a small area element ds. So this ds is a small area element, smaller area of this Gaussian sphere. Now we have to learn a next step here. To find out electric intensity at point P at a distance r from sphere A, draw Gaussian sphere of radius r we have to draw. Now here we remember the procedure of this derivation. We have to write two formulas. One by basic formula of electric uh, flux and second by Gauss theorem. We have to write electric flux by two formulas. Directly electric flux and second one electric flux by Gauss theorem. And then both the formulas we have to equate to get the final expression. Now you can see here, electric flux over a closed surface. You know that electric flux is given by this formula integration over a closed path E bar dot ds bar. So you know that A bar dot B bar is AB cos theta. So E bar dot ds bar is integration E ds cos theta. Now here this angle theta is 0 degree. So listen, this theta is the angle between the normal area vector. This is the area vector and this is the direction of electric intensity. Area vector is perpendicular to this area element and electric intensity is also perpendicular. So area vector and electric intensity directed on directed in same direction. So therefore the angle is zero. The cos zero is one. So we can write here integration E D S. So E is a constant because on every part of the Gaussian sphere electric intensity is same. So integration of D S and integration of D S is 4 pi R square. It's the surface area of the Gaussian sphere. So area of sphere is 4 pi into radius square. Gaussian sphere having a radius smaller. So 4 pi R square is the surface area of the Gaussian sphere. So we get electric flux by this formula. It's equation number one. Similar manner by Gauss law, we can write the electric flux is given by this one by epsilon times the total charge. So it means that total charge is Q multiplied by one by epsilon zero means Q by epsilon zero. It is equation number two. Equating one and two we get here. So here we get a formula for electric intensity and this is expression for electric intensity near a charge sphere. Or similarly, you remember, if this charge sphere is placed in a medium of constant K, dielectric constant K, then same formula of electric intensity, we can write 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 K Q divided by R square. So this is the formula. So here I consider the charges, this charge sphere is in air and because of that here, epsilon 0 only. Now after that, we can 
write its case also. So you know that uh, this is a formula of the electric intensity. Now after that, we know that surface charge density is charge divided by area. So charge divided by area is 4 pi r square. So by using that, we can write a value of the charge and this value of the charge we can substitute in above equation. So after substituting the charge and cancelling the common term as a 4 pi, 4 pi from numerator and denominator, we get the final formula for electric intensity in term of capital R and small r. So this is also a formula of electric intensity. This is sigma r square divided by epsilon 0 into small r square. This is expression for electric intensity. So both are the formulas of electric intensities. The first one we are written here, it is in term of Q and second one we are written in term of, this is surface charge density sigma. I hope you understood this derivation.